Hello, welcome to the Carry Ethernet Academy. This is a three-part presentation on the Metro Ethernet Forum's Carrier Ethernet Certified Professional Program. In part two, I'll present options for preparing to pass the CECP exam. And then in the third and final part, I'll share with you the fastest way to prepare and become a Metro Ethernet Forum Carrier Ethernet Certified Professional. My name is Craig Easley. I'm the President and Dean of Academic Affairs at the Carrier Ethernet Academy and a nine-time member of the Metro Ethernet Forum's Board of Directors. In part two, I'll introduce you to the alternatives that you have for preparing to pass the exam. These include self-study, online ebooks and computer-based training, and instructor-led training from a Metro Ethernet Forum accredited training provider. At the end of the presentation, I'll show you how you can take our free readiness assessment uh, test and get counseling to help you choose the best way to prepare to pass the CCP exam. In part one, I showed you a little bit about the exam. Uh, the CECP exam is a rigorous 80 question exam that candidates are given an hour and 45 minutes to complete. It's an online exam with multiple choice questions that cover 10 subject topic areas. Candidates must achieve 63% to pass the exam. Those 10 subject um, areas are exploded into more than 200 individual objectives. These details are listed on what's called a blueprint, which is available on the MEF site. The sources of questions for the exam include key MEF specifications, such as the service uh, definition documents, MEF 6.1 and 10.2, the interface documents, 13, which is UniType 1, 20, UniType 2, MF 26, the ENI specification. But we also pull uh, material from other standards, including IEEE 802.3 and 802.1 uh, Ethernet and bridging standards, uh, several important ITUT standards, including Y1731, which is the basis for service OAM, and G8031 and 8032, which are protection uh, mechanisms for, uh, for Ethernet networks. And lastly, even the IETF uh, standards are, are covered on the exam, uh, where you need to understand how to encapsulate Ethernet services in other uh, technologies like MPLS. At the end of the exam, you're given a post-exam assessment, uh, like this one. Uh, this was from a candidate that probably worked in the networking industry because he did fairly well on the access and transport sections, but not so well on the MEF specific uh, section. So this candidate would have needed to, uh, uh, to, re to re-register for a retake after doing some studying on the uh, on, on MEF concepts. So there are a couple of different ways that you can prepare for the CECP exam. Self-study using available information, self-directed online using CBT, e-training, or e-books, or the gold standard, instructor-led in, in a classroom or over the web using distance learning tools. So let's look at all three. First, let's look at the self-study tools. Uh, these are all of the information that you really need to pass the exam is available on the MEF website. You have access to all 39 technical specifications and uh, a library of over 20 white papers and other technical documents. Um, the MEF has assimilated pointers to all this on their MEF on the go iPad application, which is a compilation of all of the MEF technical specifications. But it really lacks the guidance and focus that, that you need to, to, to go study the things that you need to study and, and really not waste time on other topics that aren't covered on the exams and in some cases maybe uh, maybe obsolete. So it requires time, uh, patience, and dedication uh, in order to, uh, to self-study using the, uh, the, the MEF online tools. But the information's all there, so if you want if you want to go for it, have at it. Self-directed using e-learning, uh, here you can use related telecom training. It requires students to navigate through existing industry CBT, some of which is better than others. Um, there are a few carrier Ethernet ebooks and, and other material that are starting now to appear that provide a little bit more focus. But again, it lacks the guidance and interaction with an expert. You can't call up the author of the book and ask him what he means about this or is this uh, something that's likely to be on the exam or not. So again, you're pretty much left to your own devices, albeit a little bit more, uh, more focused um, with, with the right book. Instructor-led delivery has always been the gold standard. I mean, from the time when that we started uh, 
uh, kindergarten till we graduated from college. Uh, all of these, all most of the, the courses that we've taken have been instructor led and 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 in and in person. So the MEF has developed a network of accredited training providers. These are MEF member companies whose courseware was submitted to the uh, uh, MEF for audit and it was approved by um, a, a committee of Metro Ethernet Forum subject matter experts. Their performance is being monitored and, uh, and evaluated continuously in real time uh, by the MEF performance in terms of how many uh, candidates are coming to their programs and what's the uh, how, how successful are those candidates when it comes time to, uh, to take the exam and, uh, and pass the test. So when you choose an ATP, uh, I would uh, offer several criteria to look for to make sure that you get the right one. The, ex the first is experience with the MEF. You know, make sure that the that the accredited training provider is is not just uh, you know a, a member in name only that they're actually contributing to the work of the of the Metro Ethernet Forum and have and have been doing um, that for some time. Look also for a company with industry experience, instructors from industry, and not just uh, technical trainers with a new course to teach. Uh, let's, you also want to ask how many CECPs have taken the courses from them, and then what's the pass rate of the students. It's also important to note how long the course lasts, the duration and the tuition cost of the, uh, of the course. Probably the duration is the bigger cost because you're talking about days away from uh, your work or you know, out, out of the office. And so uh, courses that last a long time uh, and then require additional study you know, may not be the best, you know, even though their tuition might be low, uh, may not be the best value. And then what delivery options and availability do you have? Do, you know, do they have a network of training centers? Uh, is on-site delivery where they'll come to your place an option? Uh, do they have online distance learning programs uh, so that you can take advantage of the uh, uh, and attend a course over the web? I'd like to uh, invite you to take advantage of the Care Ethernet Academy's free 20 question assessment exam to see how you'd expect to do on the real CECP exam. I've written a test that has two questions from each of the 10 subject matter areas, and it's written in the same uh, style, if you will, of the uh, MEF CECP exam. At the end of this test, you'll know that you'll get the results immediately, so you'll know how you did. And we'll uh, provide you with an assessment report and, and I invite you to take advantage of our counseling to help you prepare to pass for the CECP exam. So please go to our website and sign up to take this, uh, this free assessment exam. I, I, th I think it'll be interesting to see how you do. And please join me for part three, where I'll show you the best way to prepare and pass the CECP exam by attending the Care Ethernet Academy's boot camp. I'll share with you details on the Care Ethernet Academy boot camp program and talk about some of the delivery options that are available on site, online, in class, but always instructor led. So thank you for your interest in the Care Ethernet Academy. I ho hope you found that the, the second part of our three-part video presentation on the Metro Ethernet Forum's Care Ethernet Certified Professional Program interesting, and you'll come back and listen to the third part. Thanks again. Bye-bye.